Today we're diving deep into a supplement called Glycoberine MX, claiming to be a revolutionary approach to metabolic health. But is it all hype or does it truly stand out from regular berberine? Let's unpack the science and see if it lives up to its claims. So what exactly is Glycoberine MX? It's a supplement that combines berberine with burdock root, alpha lipoic acid complex and rose hips. It targets AMPK, a cellular master switch for energy metabolism. So what's the difference between this and normal berberine? So it's got extra ingredients, but what's the actual difference in terms of the product's effects? So Glycoberine MX goes beyond just berberine by adding these synergistic ingredients. Burdock root helps support healthy lipid metabolism and AMPK activity. Alpha lipoic acid complex improves glucose uptake and antioxidant benefits. And rose hips provide vitamin C and supports overall health. But is it really superior? Research directly on glycoberine MX is very sparse. We couldn't find any studies specifically looking at the combined formula or any studies using a combination of the same ingredients, let alone in the same dosages as glycoberine. However, the individual ingredients do have studies behind them. So berberine shows promise in improving blood sugar, cholesterol and metabolic health. However, long-term safety and optimal dosage require further investigation. Burdock root studies suggest potential benefits for blood sugar control and lipid metabolism, but evidence is limited. Alpha lipoic acid has evidence to say that it could improve nerve function and blood sugar control, but more research again is needed. Rose hips are featured in a number of studies, but it's mainly around its vitamin C content. So the study is effectively around vitamin C rather than rose hips. So what about any studies that include a combination of these ingredients? Maybe not all four, but just one or two. Well, we did some digging and found a few. So we found one with berberine and alpha lipoic acid. A 2012 study in diabetes care found that the combination of berberine and ALA, alpha lipoic acid, significantly improved blood sugar control and insulin sensitivity in patients with type 2 diabetes compared to the placebo. A 2016 study in metabolism also found that berberine and ALA supplementation led to reductions in body weight, waist circumference and blood sugar levels in individuals with metabolic syndrome. Berberine and burdock root also have a couple of studies. So a 2019 study in phytomedicine showed that burdock root extracts improved blood sugar control and lipid profiles in patients with type 2 diabetes. Also, a 2020 review in Frontiers in Pharmacology highlighted berberine's potential for metabolic health while acknowledging the need for more research on optimal dosages and long-term safety. So what's the verdict? Does glycoberine offer additional benefits to regular berberine? Glycoberine MX might offer a unique combination of ingredients, but it lacks the high quality clinical studies directly confirming its superiority to regular berberine. The individual ingredients show potential, but more research is needed to understand their combined effects and long-term safety. So before you try it, consult a healthcare professional, especially if you've got a pre-existing medical condition. Be aware of potential side effects like stomach upset, and remember that supplements are not a magic bullet for optimal health. Focus on balanced diet, exercise, and good lifestyle habits. So all in all, Glycoberine MX presents an interesting approach, but the science still needs to catch up to its claims. For now, regular berberine with doctor's guidance might be a safer and more evidence-based option. Ultimately, the choice is yours, but as always, make it informed and base it on the clinical evidence. If you want to learn more about our channel, why we set this up and what we're trying to achieve, click the link that should appear right about now. Thanks for joining me. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on Glycoberine MX, especially if you've given it a try for yourself. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more science-based health content. See you in the next one.